Welcome to Converting Between Log and Exponential Form. So reading log base 5 of 125 equals 3 might be a little confusing to understand what you're even talking about. So what we can do is rearrange this equation to make something that makes more sense to us. The way you can read a log is by saying 5 to what power is 125? And the answer would be 3, because 5 to the third power is 125. All a log is, is an exponent, basically, right? So if you ask yourself 7 to what power is 49, well, 7 squared is 49. So let's try to figure these out. If we were to write it out, how we did before. If you have log base 3 of 27 is equal to x, well, 3 to what power is equal to 27? And we know that 3 to the third power is 27. If you have log base 2 of 32 equals what? Well, 2 to what power is equal to 32? And we know that 2 to the fifth power is 32. Now there's an easier way than like saying it out each time, and the rule is going to be keep the base and switch. So let's say we had log base a of b is equal to C. If you want to convert this to an exponential equation, you're going to keep the base of a, that's going to become your base of the exponential, and you're going to flip the other two values. That means the C on the right is going to become the C on the left. The B on the left is now going to go to the right of the equal sign. So all you have to do is keep the base and switch the other two values. And just as a reminder, if you ever want to plug logs in your calculator, that is going to be alpha window and choice 5, which says log base. So let's actually practice this rule. For the first one, your base, remember B for below, is 4. And you're going to switch the other two values. The 3 on the right is going to come to the left. And the 64 on the left is going to go to the right. And that makes sense because 4 cubed is 64. For the second one, your base is 9 down below, and you switch the other two values. The 1 half on the right goes to the left, and the 3 on the left goes to the right. This also makes sense because 1 half is really the square root, right, when it's an exponent? So you have the square root of 9 is 3. Trying another one, your base is 10. Switch the other two values. 10 to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10. Also makes sense because negative exponents create fractions. If you want to go in reverse, you're going to still keep the base, which is 8. So log base 8 and switch the other two values. 64 on the right now comes to 64 on the left, and 2 on the left now goes to the 2 on the right. Your base is 3, and you switch the other two values. 81 goes to the left, 4 goes to the right. Your base is 5, 
and you switch the other two values. The two on the left goes to the right, and the 25 on the right goes to the left. Here you have an exponential equation with a base of 16. So you have log base 16, and you switch the other two values of 4 is equal to 1 half. And finally, the last one, your base is 4. And then you switch the other two values, you get 3 halves is equal to x. Now, if you put that in the calculator, you can actually simplify that to x is equal to 8. And look, you just solved a log equation by converting it to an exponential equation. So keep in mind, in order to switch between logarithmic and exponential form, all you have to do is keep the base end switched. These are both equivalent forms. They're not inverses of each other. Keeping the base and switching is only a way to express the equation in another form. And that's all for this video.